Hi everybody, my name is Ivan Lavandera from the University of Oviedo in Spain. And I welcome you to module 2.4 from the basic unit called oxidoreductases, very important enzymes which find many applications in synthetic chemistry. In nature, these enzymes catalyze the reduction or oxidation of organic compounds. Different subclasses have been identified depending on the substrate and final electron donor or acceptor used. Thus, they can be divided in dehydrogenases, reductases, oxidases, oxygenases, peroxidases, and peroxygenases. They depend on a cofactor, as I will show you in the next slide, and they present different reaction mechanisms depending on the enzyme and cofactor used. As already mentioned, these types of biocatalysts depend on a small organic or inorganic molecule, which is called cofactor, also named as coenzyme or prosthetic group, which in fact is responsible of the electron transfer. The most common ones are derived from nicotinamide, as NAD or NADP, or flavin, as FMN, or FAD. But there are many other examples as those derived from metal porphyrins. Due to the high prices of these molecules and enzymatic inhibition problems associated to high concentrations of cofactors, when these enzymes are applied for synthetic purposes, cofactor must be added in catalytic amounts, and therefore a recycling system must be applied. These systems must accomplish some features. They have to be simple, cheap, stable under the reaction conditions. They must not interfere with the main reaction. They must be very specific towards the substrate they modify. And of course, they should provide quick and thermodynamically favorable processes. Among the different systems designed, Probably the most employed ones are the coupled substrate approach, where a second substrate, usually employed in the in a high molar axis with regards to the main substrate, is added and then converted by the same enzyme which is performing the uh, um, main uh, transformation to internally recycle the cofactor. And we have also the coupled enzyme approach, where a different enzyme recycles the cofactor by means of a secondary process. In recent years, other methods such as the use of light or electrochemistry have afforded promising results to recycle the cofactor in redox processes. Now I will show you the most important characteristics of the different oxidoreductase classes and the most relevant applications. For instance, dehydrogenases are enzymes which typically reduce organic compounds, also they can also catalyze the reverse oxidative transformation. They usually depend on a nicotinamide cofactor, also they can use others. Among the most typical stereoselective transformations they can mediate, we have the carbonyl reduction, to form alcohols by, uh, by uh, alcohol dehydrogenases, the alkene reduction by means of in reductases, the imine reductions to afford chiral amines with imine reductases, the formation of amino acids from alpha keto acids by amino acid dehydrogenases, and also the reductive amination of ketones to provide amines using amine dehydrogenases. Probably the most used dehydrogenases in synthesis are alcohol dehydrogenases that, as previously mentioned, are able to form chiral alcohols from the corresponding carbonyl precursors by a decimetrization, 
but also starting from the racemic alcohol by an oxidative kinetic resolution. As they depend on nicotine and cofactor, well-developed recycling systems have been established using 2-propanol as cosubstrate in excess in a coupled substrate mode, or by utilizing glucose or with glucose dehydrogenase or formate with formate dehydrogenase in an enzyme in a couple enzyme approach. The selectivity of, the, of this biocatalyst is in accordance with Prilog's rule, which predicts that these enzymes usually provide the hydride atom from the nicotinamide cofactor through the re phase of the carbonyl moiety. However, in recent years, due to the development of molecular biology tools, enzymes which present opposite selectivity are available. Oxidases are able to oxidize organic compounds at expenses of molecular oxygen reduction, obtaining water or hydrogen peroxide, peroxide as coproduct, depending on the flabbing or metal cofactor they possess. Among the most typical transformations they mediate, alcohol oxidases are applied to oxidize alcohols into carbonyl compounds. Amine oxidases uh, to obtain imines from amines. The um, amino acid oxidases to render alpha keto acids from amino acids. And NADH or NADBH oxidases to oxidize the reduced form of nicotine microfactor. In the case of oxygenases, these enzymes are oxidizing organic compounds, but in this case, they incorporate one oxygen atom in the case of monoxygenases or both oxygen atoms in the case of deoxygenases from molecular oxygen, releasing water as coproduct. They usually depend on a flabbing or metal cofactor. Monoxygenases can catalyze, among other transformations, the hydroxylation of non-activated substrates, the epoxidation of alkenes, the oxidation of different heteroatoms, and also carbonic compounds. While dioxygenases can dehydroxylate aromatic compounds. Finally, peroxidases and peroxygenases can oxidize organic compounds using hydrogen peroxide as oxidant in the case of peroxidases or incorporating one oxygen atom from hydrogen peroxide in the case of peroxygenases, releasing in both cases water as coproduct. They usually depend on a metal derived cofactor, but they have been applied in the oxidation, among others, of alkanes, alkenes and alcohols. As general features, oxidoreductases usually work under mild conditions in aqueous medium, although they can normally accept small proportions of organic solvents. Com compared to hydrolases, these biocatalysts are less stable, but they can provide many different types of valuable synthetic processes with excellent selectivity. It is envisaged that in the next years, by means of the development of molecular biology and engineering tools, they will find many valuable applications in the industrial sector. So I hope I have provided with a nice overview of the most relevant properties of this promising class of enzymes. See you.